Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Alex channel. Today, we're going to be building the Gym Intercept Custom Fellow Booster equipped from the Origin series. So, a lot of people don't really sleeping on this B Bandai because, personally, I really understand you because you already bought the Intercept Custom. The Intercept Custom and this release probably have like a one year gap, so that's why not much people planning to purchase it. Uh, which is why there's not much people to review this kit, I guess. And you know, a lot of people think that it's just a one booster on the backpack, so it's not much pretty different. But for me, because I never bought the uh, Intercept Custom, so I figured out why not just bought it. So that's pretty much it. So let's open up the runners. Now let's take a look at the normal Intercept Custom uh, instruction menu. So we are going to be quickly flicking this because I assume a lot of you guys already have the normal Intercept Custom. So I don't really need to go detail about the instruction menu so just briefly looking at it we have some introduction right here the sticker but this sticker guy is not for this version so we have an extra uh, instruction menu right here i don't really get it why they don't print a new one okay anyway so uh this one mentions the backpack how do you equip uh, the extra booster backpack so just take a look at this. So they gi they gave you the new sticker on the backpack. That's all the new parts. So we can see the XA1, XA2, XB1, XB2, XC stickers and poly caps as well. So first we have an XC runner. This is the new runner of the kit. We can obviously see that uh, that's the backpack booster part. We can see some missiles in here as well. We have a D part. The D part is the waist part right here. And then we have the feet part right over here. We have an A part right here. We have the hand, we have the arms, torso, the uh, scope, I mean the camera thing. And then we have the antennas here and then the torso part right here. We have an XA2 runner. This is for the backpack as well. We have a XA1 runner. The XA1 runner is for the uh, backpack itself so you know I don't I don't really dig deep to the backpack design so I can't really define which part is which. We have XB1 and XB2 runner because they are basically molded the same so I'll just take the XB1 runner to be introducing so first we can see some uh, this is probably the fuel tanks this is the thrusters uh, I don't know what part is this most of the part here I don't really know because it's a new runner so it's all belong to the booster pack and then we have a b1 and b2 runner because they're pretty much the same so we'll just check b1 as introducing so this is from the original intercept custom uh runner uh i gotta say that this color though it looks pretty weird it looks like those gk conversion kit color do you do you get what i mean and then so first we have the we have the i think this is the arms yes this is the arms uh legs feet torso parts and then we have some this is a tor this is a torso piece. This is beam saber and the head. Next, we have two E1 runners. So take one. So this obviously all this part here is feet part. We have some. Uh, this is the side of the side of the legs, and then we have some shoulders part. F1, F2 runner. Take F1. So we have the in the frame of the legs. We have some side skirt. We have the thrusters. We have the legs part right here, uh, part of the side skirt. The the thruster at the side of the shoulders and then we have some backpack parts large piece here the c runner this c runner is a universal runner for the origin ms so we've been seeing this a lot of times we've seen it on the fsd gym sniper the gym cannon assault type that I recently reviewed and then we see the guard custom as well so we can see that uh, legs part hands option uh and then uh, and then the arms joint shoulders joint oh wait this is the feet this is the legs back joint and then we have the leg joint right here the beam spray gun we have the beam sabers right here the head camera poly caps this is a new poly caps i think this is for this is a new poly cap specifically for this kit i think we have these large sheet of decals which include the new parts for the booster pack and then down here we have some stickers right here as well the sticker is pretty limited this time so i assume the color separation on the kit is pretty good so enough talking let's jump to the review hey guys welcome back to the review of the gym interceptor custom the Velo booster equipped so right now the, what you see right now is just the gym intercept custom i did not put on the backpack because i'll explain it later because you know this kit suffers from most of the heavy backpack user which is the standing got a quite a bit problem and i'll show you how do you 
make a stand with the correct position. But right now, what you see is just a very normal gym intersect custom. I gotta say that, although I don't really like the colors, as I mentioned in the uh, in the unboxing runners part, I don't really like this particular yellowish color because it really looks like GK conversion kit that haven't been painted up. If you know what I'm saying, if you don't know what's called GK conversion kit, you can search that up on Google. More than that, if you take away the colors, take away the take away the part that I don't like, I think overall it doesn't look anything different than the gym because it's basically like I just I just take out the guard custom, the gym cannon, the gym sniper custom that I have. I took it out and then just take a brief look about it. There's basically not much difference. It's just except the head and the color scheme. That's pretty, that's pretty much it. And I gotta say that mm, this is the fourth time I'm looking at the gym now. I'm not gonna be going through all those uh, bad details or those good details because I've been saying it for free videos now. I don't think I need to repeat it again. But now let's not talk too much. Let's go to the review first. Just like usual, we're gonna start it with the head. So this head right here, is just basically the same like every sort of gym head but except this time it have like a very sniper feeling uh head armor right here but it's not actually a sniper camera it's served as a protection towards the the front camera right there so this design though because i look at too much gym sniper design sometimes these kind of outer version design really kind of you know Kinda makes me feel unique. So I would just say that the head, I would just give it, I would just give it a pretty high score. Uh, the head can move up, move down, move 360 around, absolutely no interruption at all. Just like other gyms, they still give you decals at the back of the head. So make sure you do them as well. I gotta say that I don't know how many times did I look at this chest because I have four gyms and I even have a Origin series heavy gun that have like a similar design. So just like uh, just like all type of gyms, this chest right here, they already gave you every single color that you needed. So you don't need to do any color separation. So if you don't, for those of you that know the gym, you know the gym have this part right here for you to bend the waist. It can move around. Um, you can move around 90 degrees because there's a beam saber interrupting at the back right here. This this beam saber right here will interact with will interrupt your movement and that's basically for the torso movement uh gotta say the one thing i don't like about this torso is it doesn't have like a lot of detail a lot not the detail a lot of decals like other gym series which is something that i think that they should put more decals on hello we are gonna talk about the arm style which is the part that i've been going through for like the fifth time or the or the sixth time because basically most of the origin series if they are earth uh, if they are the Earth 4 side, they basically have like the same kind of arm design. So that's why I get pretty boring on, you know, repeating every single thing again and again and again and again. So first, 360, of course, lift up, of course, the whole arm can rotate. The whole arm can rotate, but for some reason, my this intercept custom joint is very hard to rotate. I don't know, is it only mine? But because other my other gyms and my other Gundam, I never experienced this kind of very toughness turn. So I think it's just this gym only. So bend up, it's pretty fine. And then, you know, the, and then we, you know, the whole shoulder can move the front. This little gray piece right here is movable as well. This waist here is nothing special as well. It's actually, I think this waist is exactly the color scheme like the gym cannon that I last time reviewed. Uh, this one right here, of course, lift up for the sky skirt uh, and then I mean the front skirt can lift up. Uh, the side skirt is not really, it's just exactly the same like other gyms, which is the side skirt can't really lift up. And then we talk about the and then we talk about the legs movement. There's a initial joint in there for you to adjust the legs position, which is pretty useful if you if you're someone that really need to pose around. Kicking to the front, 90 degrees, of course. Kicking to the back, not possible at all because because as I said, the back skirt on next G, they're always fixed. And then bending is pretty good, just like the other, any kind of gym series. The feet down here is a big ball joint, which means you can move around and then adjust the position to the point that you want. And with flipping back to the back skirt right here, we can see a beam saber is attached on it, which is, which is in, 
which is interrupting the upper body movement i gotta say that mm, this part right here i don't really like the design but as usual this beam saber right here they provide you the beam saber effect part for you to put on so it's pretty it's pretty simple you pull this out and just put it on this backpack is exactly the same like any sort of normal gym's backpack so it's really not that interesting the interesting part is just these front is still remain movable yeah it's not it's not really important trust me uh there are two plugs in here there's two holes right here so these holes is actually uh for you to put in the put in the fellow booster which i will show you later but first i'll just go through the last only accessory which is a beam spray gun and a trigger hand it's not it's not anything special i've been showing you this for like the fourth time already it's not really special so right now let's stop talking let's get to the main part of this p bandai kit which is the fellow booster here you go this is a fellow booster this is the new fellow booster oh, so basically i would just understand this kit that like this you buy the backpack and they come along with the ms as like a gift do you get what i'm saying this is basically what you buy this p bandai for so this um fellow booster right here i would just say that the color separation on it is pretty fine the red part at the side here is by stickers and the bottom part right here is all is stickers as well which is some part that i feel like mm, it could have do better uh other than that all the thrusters here i think that you need to recolor inside uh the big thruster right here is a ball joint inside so which means you can slightly adjust the angle and then at the front right here we can see that i thought when i first look at the official pictures i thought the missiles were just uh will require you to recolor or you know put stickers on it but later that i found out that it's actually by runners which is i think that is a pretty sweet part for bandai as well they also give you the uh, details on the engines as well which is i think that is pretty good it's pretty fine as well the whole fellow booster can extend is for you to put on the gym intercept custom which i will show you how to put it on right now to put it on to the gym first you need to plug you need to remove the arms which i will quickly do it right now so you remove the arms like this then i already extended the fellow booster so basically you just find the joint right here do you see this the joint at the back and you just put this in put this part in so it's it might get a little tricky if you first time operate it but uh make sure that you extend it pretty well so it is a pretty difficult part to find the right joint because you know it might it might you might get stuck like during halfway so this is basically how you equip on the booster right now as you can see right here the head articulation no longer exists is gone and then now what we have to do is just put the backpack i mean put the Put the arms back on it now as you can see uh the backpack is so heavy which which is which is why it cannot stand so if i let it go wait it actually stand oh because because before when i was doing testing that i never really getting stand on it but right now you need to you really need to let your gym leaning forward otherwise it would just it would just fall back and we can see that there's a little gap at the waist part right here, which normally you don't have. So I assume the backpack is too heavy and he's actually dragging the gym uh, to the back. But if you want to stand a bit well, I suggest you, you can tilt the backpack like this because the backpack inside is moving. You can tilt the backpack like this so it can stand so it can make the gym stand a little better. Okay, thank you guys for watching. This is the end of the gym Intercept Custom Fellow Booster Equip video. So um a lot of people already bought the gym intercept custom i assume because the gym intercept custom actually came out pretty early as well before these p band i i think it have like a one year gap that's why a lot of people bought the regular if you bought the regular i suggest you mm, the backpack itself that's not much like really surprising things in it so i would just say that mm, unless you really like the backpack otherwise i would say that if you have the regular release gym intercept custom you can basically skip this one because it's just give you an additional back backpack and that's that's basically it nothing really special nothing more so i would say that if you don't have the intercept custom and you really like the backpack design definitely a yes if you have the regular release one you can skip this one that's my opinion and that's it. That's basically it.
this is the end of the review hope you guys like this video be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever i upload a new video and i'll see you guys in the next gundam review goodbye